Just before 9 o'clock in Manhattan Tuesday night, street after street quiet, the result of a mandatory curfew with a start time that was moved up from 11 p.m. to 8 p.m. to avoid the widespread looting that overshadowed the daily peaceful protests over the death of George Floyd. An eerily quiet Times Square, the NYPD once again blocking off this entire area from protesters, offered New York City public advocate Jamani Williams and a slew of other elected officials a chance to take a knee. An attempt, Williams says, to refocus our attention on how we got here. If we address the concerns, I guarantee you all of this will roll away. Nobody wants looting. Nobody wants uh, fight. Uh, uh, police cruisers uh, on fire. Nobody wants protesters hurt. There were two police officers who, uh, that I've seen that were hit by cars. Uh, this is not what we want. There were also calls for peace made on speakerphone as Terrence Floyd, George's brother and a Brooklyn resident, expressed his concerns during a news conference held by attorney Sanford Rubenstein and Reverend Kevin McCall of the Crisis Action Center. And what are you calling for? I'm calling for peace. I'm calling for peace. I don't want, I don't want anybody coming and, and looting and rioting and, 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 and anger. And even though you're angry, we're coming and we're doing this in peace because I, I'm, I say it again, as I said it before, we have to do a different strategy. We can't keep doing the same angry strategy.